In other news tonight, today, today was a day of remembrance, grieving, and raising awareness for many at the University of Alabama. WVUA 23's Yasmin Panetta has more. That's right, Jabari. Today, hundreds came together to support one another and bring to light a topic that many feel is far too forgotten. Over a 24-hour period, I took 48 lower tab 10s. Dana Roberts recalls back to the day that changed her life forever. Her story began when she had to undergo a hysterectomy, which introduced her to an addiction of painkillers. She battled with her demon for seven years until she couldn't take it anymore and attempted to take her own life. Luckily, she was able to be rescued, and while in detox, she realized she had a second chance and has been helping others ever since. Every time I tell my story, I just have this sense of relief, healing hope and had it not been for that darkness that I went through, I wouldn't be able to help others. She, like hundreds of others, came out today to walk out of the darkness and raise awareness for mental illness, which according to research, most people who die from suicide suffer from. And most often that is clinical depression. Um, sadly though, only about 30% of people who have clinical depression actually seek treatment. This walk hits home for some who have been personally touched by this topic. Me and, and all the other guys in Theta Chi are walking in memory of, uh, of our brother Parker Jordan last year. Matthew, along with the rest of his fraternity, even raised the most money out of any organization that participated and led the walk as a result. He feels that this is a subject that needs more exposure and that today would have meant a lot to Parker. To Parker, yeah, you know, I think that he would have, you know, want us to have these conversations and want us to to um, you know, have difficult conversations and have things like this where we can really um, come together as a campus and in regards to mental health, in regards to something that really affects many college students. If you or anybody you know suffers from depression and needs help, Survivors of Suicide Tuscaloosa is a support group that meets at the Trinity United Methodist Church the third Thursday of every month. Reporting from the studio, I'm Yasmin Pineda, WVUA 23 News.